Greetings everyone, I'm the Sirius Bear and I welcome you to another episode of Faction Guides. Now today we are going to talk about the Numidians. Last time we did the Carthage, so it's only fair. <laughs> I will say a few words about the Numidians. Early on there were tribes, or formed into clans, and they later transformed into the Berbers. They were semi-nomads until the time of Massinissa, I hope I pronounced it correctly. He was a chief of the Masaesili tribe and lived near Sirta or Constantine. In the Second Punic War they were the ally of Carthage, but they changed sides in 2006 BC. And of course they were renowned for their horses, they were riding without saddles, as the game tells us. They are famed for riding without saddles or reins, using only sticks to direct their horses, which is an impressive feat. And their time ended with uh, King uh, Juba I. He died versus Caesar at Tapsus with his Pompeian allies, with Metellus Scipio and the like. So, I will leave you with the Numidian intro and then we can talk about the map. Enjoy! We live in uncertain times. Our Carthaginian neighbors court our favor as they gain strength under the formidable and ambitious Hannibal. In Iberia, never-ending wars amongst the tribes grow ever more bloody. To the east, the Ptolemaics eye our lands and seek to reclaim the glory of the pharaohs. And from the trembling lips of frightened sailors, word reaches us of a new and terrible empire desperate for plunder and slaves, and raised on an army of blood-red soldiers. Yet, even at this dark hour, we have the strength to stand first amongst all powers. None but a Numidian could survive in our desert home, and all who would try to take it from us have perished. There is no hardship we cannot weather. Let the whole world be engulfed, by the coming storm of war. Okay, so the Numidian leader is afraid of the Romans like everybody else. <laughs> Which is of course understandable. Now let's go to the map. Come on, finish loading. Okay, so we are based in Sirta, in modern day Algeria, in the North African border. We have, of course, the capital Sirta here. Uh, the town Tingi or Tingi, depending on how you want to pronounce it. In the desert, we have the Midi. And far away near the Egyptian border, the Ni near the Nile Delta, we have Siva. So, quite far away. So, what should you do as a Numidian? You have two options. First, you could attack Carthage, which is here. Let me toggle the Fog of War. Okay, so Fog of War eliminated. We have Carthage here with two cities, Carthage and Tapsus. My advice is to take the Carthaginians on. They have uh, little troops in Carthage defending, not so many. Gather your forces and head to east toward Carthage, Carthage and eliminate it at least from uh, the continent of Africa. Then you can, uh, you can head east again to attack the Egyptians. They will be powerful, so it's good to play a defensive war against the Egyptians at Siva, and we have you, when you have the strength, go for them. They will concentrate on the Seleucids in the north of them, so yes, you can take them on. Or the second route for you, or the second option, is go to Iberia, to Spain. If you are at war with Carthage, you can take Cordoba, and later Cartago Nova, and take the whole peninsula of Spain. It's not so profitable, but it could sustain you for a while. And careful of the Romans, especially the House of Scipia in the north. They will fight Carthage, and if you take Carthage, of course, you will have to fight the Scipii. And later on, if you pacify the Egyptians, 
and establish a border, you can handle the Romans if you are powerful enough. But be careful of your economy. Your starting economy is trash. <laughs> Believe me, I've played this campaign and I know you have constant money troubles. So, it's better to take Carthage early on, as soon as you can. Right. Now, let's go to the buildings. So, the Numidians have access to the royal palace. They have the Carthaginian uh, tech tree. They have epping stone walls. They have foundries. All the buildings you can uh, ever want. <laughs> and how about religion? They have three temples. Trying to tan it, trying to ball, and trying to milk it. So it's identical to the Carthaginians. I will tell you the, there are awesome temples. Awesome temple of Tanit gives the public order due to happiness 20%, population growth 2%, and increased farmland size plus 4. Which use this when you want to grow a city fast where, and you need population mostly. Next. Awesome Temple of Baal gives uh, public order due to happiness and low 40% combined. Use this for happiness, not a great bonus. And Awesome Temple of Melkart, public order 20% and trade income bonus plus 40%. Use this in faraway cities when you want to trade, especially the ones with access to a port. Remember, <laughs> I say this in all my guides. Sea trade is the most is the most profitable of all, so use it wisely. Okay, so let's go to the units. Okay, welcome to the Numidian units page. As you can see, not a lot of uh, troop selection for the Numidians. They have rather weak troops than good ones, but you can manage. Let's not waste time. Peasants, you know they are worthless, only good for population transfer, so... Not good for anything else, perhaps garrison, but they are good in numbers, I guess. Next up, Desert Infantry, your basic spearmen. They have a bonus fighting cavalry, of course, like all spearmen, combat bonus in deserts. So all your troops will have combat bonus in deserts, and pretty good morale. Numidian Legionaries, now, heavy infantry. These are your late troops. They are similar to the Roman Legionaries, but cannot form Tostudo. I guess they are poorly <laughs> trained than the Roman ones. <laughs> but they have good stats. Use them whenever possible. They are way better than the Desert Spearmen. Slingers. The first uh, far away firing unit. Pretty weak, but cheap. Use, use this to behind the Desert Infantry early on for some cheap kills. Next up, the Numidian Javelin Men. Slightly better than the Slingers, but not much. <laughs> I don't use them often. Archers, the best variant of the firing troops. Better than the Javelin Men and the Slingers and with better range. So use this behind your lines to inflict as much dam damage as possible. Okay, now the Cavalry. Long Shield Cavalry can form Wedge, good for morale. Your basic Cavalry. Use this to strike from the sides or from the behind to surprise the enemy and rout them. Numidian Camel Riders, they are considered light, light cavalry. They have combat bonus in deserts and combat bonus against horses, remember. Camels are always good against horses, they scare them for some reason. Horses do not like the smell of camels. So if you, if you see your enemy using lots of cavalry, use camel riders. The general's bodyguard, you know the general, do not lose him. He will provide the morale bonus to your troops. And if he dies, you will get a morale debuff or penalty. The armored bodyguard is an improved virgin, version after uh, the Marian reforms of the Romans. And lastly, the Numidian cavalry, you will use this a lot. This is your basic unit and the most important one, as the Numidians. They have good morale, good stamina, fast moving. So excellent for skirmishing. And good in large numbers. After their... Uh, <coughs> I wanted to say arrows. After their javelins are expended, they will fight as light cavalry. So use them in that regard. Next, onagers. 
your only siege unit, good against walls, and if you get lucky, you can also fire against troops. And lastly, mercenary war, war elephants, you can only get these at the general's training. You can hire them as mercenaries, of course. They have 12 hit points, special attack, bonus fighting cavalry, frightened nearby enemies, good morale. So, excellent troops if you can afford them and fight them. So, that's the units. Very, very few or poor selection of units. I would advise to rely on the medium cavalry for hit and run tactics and then engage with your infantry. Remember, your infantry is very, very poor as the Numidians. So I will set up a battle and show you how skirmishing is done. See you there. Take up your spears, saddle the horses, drink the last of your wine. Fate awaits us, soldiers. Fate has decided our destinies. Okay, welcome to the Numidian forces and to the Numidian strategy for the battle, or tactics rather. Now, I set up a random battle, Numidia against Carthage. <clears throat> so set up your infantry in the front. You're firing the troops behind them. Your general, of course, behind. And this is how I fight. My Numidian cavalry set up as uh, unit 1. And all the others as 2. Let's start the battle. They should come over to our uh, and attack. Okay, disabled skirmish mode, so they don't run amok my units. And I will slowly move against the enemy and harass them. I will keep my infantry in a line and set to defend. And of course I will try to eliminate their general, which is coming to attack us right away. Okay, so around shield cavalry is trying to attack us. We are charging into my spearman, which is always a bad idea. Yeah, they run. So the general flees. Okay, now we can charge this army, this army from behind. You see I have expended my javelins, so I will use them as cavalry. Okay, so the last I have to deal with is the Spearman. The General is in this unit, so we'll take care of him. And the battle is won. So you get an idea how to fight as the Numidians. Okay. 
<laughs> I got an achievement. Come on, the Cindy Arena. Okay. So, to sum it up. To sum it up for the Numidians. They are uh, light desert infantry, as the game says. And good, good cavalry. So, use Numidian cavalry. I beg you. <laughs> Do not use their infantry. It is trash. So, try to take on Carthage. Or if you want to fight Egypt first, try to ally with Carthage. Or try to ally with Egypt and fight Carthage. One of the two options. Whatever you like to choose. And after that, do not let the Romans get too strong. Otherwise, you cannot defeat them in one-on-one -on -one battles. So that's it for this guide. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day and bye.